This video is brought to you by Ultium 365. In today's episode, I'm going to use ChatGPT to make an Arduino based project that's never been done by anyone before. First, I'll make the project and then I will ask ChatGPT to make the same project. So I started off by asking ChatGPT to tell me about yourself and ChatGPT replied, I'm a language model created by OpenAI. My primary function is to generate human-like text based on the input I receive. I've been trained on a diverse range of internet text, allowing me to answer questions on a wide range of topics and generate text that is coherent and informative. It doesn't matter how many times you ask ChatGPT, every time it will use different words. So it will be 100% plagiarism free. So you can use ChatGPT for writing your project reports and thesis. But what I suggest is do it yourself. You can talk to ChatGPT just as you normally talk to people. So I continued chatting with ChatGPT and I was really amazed. ChatGPT knows when to apologize and it knows very well how to ignore spelling mistakes. Anyway, read my chat and then we will continue from there. I'm already impressed but before I start the challenge first I'm going to ask the chat GPT to write me a song on Arduino. I just want to check how creative it is. Chat GPT response depends on your question. The more information you give chat GPT the better it will replay. I asked GPT to write me a song on Arduino and mention my YouTube channel Electronic Clinic and also mention my subscribers as I'm dedicated this song to my subscribers. And it will be highly appreciated if you include SP32, STM32, Raspberry Pi, Pico, Arduino, Nano, Arduino Uno, Electronics and Image Processing too. So let's go ahead and click on the enter key. This is absolutely mind blowing. In just a few seconds, Jade GPT wrote an Arduino song. I can't read the whole song, but just take a look. ChatGPT used my channel name and mentioned my subscribers and all the controller boards as well. Anyway, you can read this song on community posts. You now have a sense of just how strong ChatGPT is. I have so many controller boards, sensors and backout boards. Is ChatGPT really that powerful to be able to program all of these things? Well, to test it, I'm going to randomly select two sensors. Let's start with the DHT21 and Max 6675 amplifier board and K-type thermocouple. And for displaying the values, I'm going to use SSD1306 or LED display module. And I'm going to use Arduino Nano. Let me tell you about the project and what exactly I want to build. As I said earlier, I'm trying to build an Arduino based project that's never been done before. So I'm going to use an OLED display module, DHT21 temperature and humidity sensor and max 6675 and K-type thermocouple with the Arduino at the same time. Let's see how ChatGPT handles all the libraries and programming. But first I'm going to build this project and then I will ask the ChatGPT. So without any further delay. Let's get started. The components and tools used in this video can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The VCC and ground pins of the DHT21 SSD1306 OLED display module and Max 6675 amplifier board are connected with the Arduino 3.3 volt and ground pins. The SCK, CS and SO pins of the Max 6675 amplifier board are connected to the Arduino pins D6, D5 and D3 respectively. 
The data wire of the DHT21 temperature and humidity sensor is connected to the digital pin D2. The SDA and SCL pins of the SSD1306 or LED display module are connected to the analog pins A4 and A5. A4 is the SDA and A5 is the SCL. I have connected everything as per the circuit diagram and as you can see I am using my Arduino Nano development board but you can also do all these connections on a breadboard. But if you want to make the same Arduino Nano development board then you can download its PCB Gerber files from our website electronicclinic.com. I will add a link in the description. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. I have written this code and you can see I have added all the required libraries. I have been using these libraries for quite a long time. So if you don't know how to install these libraries then you can watch my getting started videos on OLED display module DHT21 and Max 6675. I will add links to all the related videos in the description. And for the step by step explanation read my article. Anyway, I have already uploaded this program and now let's watch this project in action. So my code is working and it took me around 30 minutes to make it work. It may seem hard to believe but I did it in 30 minutes as I have been using these sensors and displays for years. Anyway, now let's go ahead and ask JGBT to write the code. If you have been using Ultium Designer for creating schematics and designing your PCBs and you don't know about Ultium 365 then let me tell you about it. Ultium 365 lets you store projects in the cloud with all the documents and components you might need to complete all your tasks. To unlock all of the functionality of Ultium 365, you must first connect to your workspace, a separate environment where all your data exists. After logging into your account, you can access all of the features of the Ultium 365 platform. Let me show you how to create a workspace. Click on the Not Signed In drop down button and click on the sign in. Click on the register an account. It's just a two steps process into your email ID or you can also register with Gmail and Facebook. Once you complete the registration, then come back to Ultium Designer, enter your email ID and password, check the sign in automatically box and click on the sign in button. And your Ultium 365 workspace will activate. Click on manage if you want to change your password, your information and you can also write about your experience and projects. And finally you can click on the save button. I will share more tips and tricks with you in my upcoming videos. I have added links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopod, the world's fastest component search engine. Now let's get back to our project. As I mentioned earlier, the more details you give to ChatGPT the better it will respond. So let's go ahead and tell ChatGPT about the project. You can see I'm telling connections and I'm giving it some instructions how to do it. So I'm going to press the enter key and let's see. The start is quite impressive. It's adding all the required libraries and it's using the same exact pins I asked for. I didn't ask for the comments, so that's why ChatGPT is not adding any comments. This is awesome. ChatGPT is also telling me which libraries I will need to install. Anyway, I already have all these libraries, so let's go ahead and copy this code and paste it into the Arduino IDE. I 
I don't know why it added the error fruit underscore sensor dot h. Anyway, I'm going to compile this code. Let's fix this error. After fixing the errors, I uploaded the code, but it wasn't working. I couldn't see anything on the OLED display. In the white setup function, one instruction is missing, so I'm going to add this instruction and let's see if this is going to fix the issue. Let's upload the code. Wow, this is amazing. I can see values on the OLED display module. Let me show you. It's displaying all the values in the same order as I asked for. It's outstanding, isn't it? The text is small, but it's not an issue. We can increase the font size. Anyway, you can see the temperature and humidity values from the DHT21 sensor and the temperature value from the Max 6675K type thermocouple. It took me 30 minutes to complete the code, but ChatGPT did it in just a few seconds. There were a few errors which I fixed in less than 5 minutes time. So ChatGPT can save a lot of your time. You guys need to give it a try. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.